Hello everyone, welcome back to how to hack. So today we are going to have a session on operating the tool Hydra. So Hydra is a very interesting tool for password attacks. Using Hydra, we can try to bypass or we can try to attack a login page or an SSH login or like FTP with the help of this Hydra tool. So this tool is very interesting. So to work with this tool, first of all, we are going to create an account on TryHackMe. So if you already have this account on TryHackMe, there is no worry. Just log into TryHackMe. There is a machine there. There is a machine name is Hydra. Just search for Hydra there. There is no need of trying this uh, Hydra on any other live website. We can study on this machine itself. So TryHackMe is a basic, very good platform for studying this kind of attacks. So you can see this is a description about the Hydra. We can go through this one. But we are not going for theory part. We will only study how to use Hydra. This tool is very interesting. This is actually pre-installed in Kali Linux. So it's a command prompt tool. You can see just type Hydra to visible the all options. So if we scroll down into this machine, you can see a lot of options are available. Like you can see this much attacks is possible using Hydra. So it is saying about installing Hydra in your Linux machine. But if you are using Kali Linux, the, the Kali, Kali already have this Hydra tool pre-installed. So we can see using Hydra. We can skip the first part and we can go to the Kali machine. So this is an this is a machine in the TryHackMe Hydra machine. Okay, to start this machine, first of all, you have to get a VPN. So if you are using TryHackMe for the first time, first of all, create account. Then after go to this access page, you can see there is an icon here. Click on this icon. That will lead you to an option access. Click on this access. That will take you to next page. So you can see the connected option is not on tick mark it's actually an into mark showing so first of all we have to download a vpn so you can see so you can see click on this option au regular so select this option from the list and download the vpn file you can see darkangel.ovpn here darkangel is my username so if uh, if you are giving your name as sam your file will be downloaded as sam.ovpn to open this OVPN file, just type open VPN, then the file name dot OVPN. So you can see the VPN is starting. So after a refresh, after a refresh, you can see the VPN is connected. So now we are going back to our machine. Okay. So just you can see a green button is there. Click on this machine. You can see start machine. So currently it will take one minute to start the machine. So it will show you an IP address of our target. So why is the time? You can go for the rest of the options. First of all, we are seeing an option on how to work with Hydra. So you can see Hydra minus L user minus P password list FTP. So this is index for attacking FTP login. But we are going to target a login page. Description of each option is available at that table. You can go for that. Like I told you, a lot of op options are available in the Hydra attack. But in this session, we will study but in this option, we will study how to attack an SSH login page or and also a login page, like a login form. So first of all, you can see our IP address is available. So just copy this IP address and this machine is available for only one hour. But we can extend this one after this uh, one hour, we can extend this connection. Okay. So I am first of all, I am copying this IP and I'm opening a new browser window and I am pasting the IP address there. Okay. So it will work only if the VPN is connected. Okay, so check that currently it is HTTPS. So <clears throat> make it as HTTP only. Okay. So if the VPN is not working, we will not get the page. Okay, so VPN is working now. Let me check it out. So first of all, we are going to scan this IP address using Nmap. So in the previous session, I have discussed about Nmap. So if you don't know how this Nmap is working or what scanning is performed, just go through the video. I am attaching the link in the description box. So I am providing the IP address of the target. So once I press enter, it will perform scanning and they will find which all ports are open. 
so we got the output you can see three uh, two ports are open okay so first port is 22 that's 22 and next one 80 so th we know that 80 is running because we have a login page at the http and and also ssh port is also open so that is port number 22 so we found two open ports so we are going to study how we can attack or brute, uh, brute force this attack on uh, with hydra tool so we are going to work with ssh and login page so we can avoid the first option this is the we can see that's on ftp okay so for you can see everyone minus l is for username minus p is for password list so last video i have discussed on how to create where list so uh, we can create a where list ourselves or we can download any where list which contain passwords from the internet so to load a where list from the window we can see we can use minus p as an option okay then we describe the file or the file path so then after minus t means that uh, threads threads means that uh, uh, so if the threads are increasing if we if we increase the threads are like a 10 or 20 or 40 the speed of attack will be very high so if uh, if you are using a slow threads like a 2 5 or something the uh, attack will be slow also but if the victim machine is having like a no much capacity if the threads are increasing the system will be in a hanging state so we can avoid that part we can go for the low threads now so like i told you early i have a wear list that is roku.txt we can download this roku.txt from the internet it is free to download that's only 143 mb okay like you can see in the table minus l means that username so if i include minus l so and a username so maybe if we don't know what is the username here okay but in the question the username will be there so if we have an idea about the user like a, we can see that everywhere admin user will be there so we can include minus l then the username here okay when, once after we include minus l username so we are targeting a login page that's why it is given as http form so HTTP post form so don't make any mistake do exactly like this okay then after you can see there's an option username and power symbol user inside so here once we include minus l a username there this name will be fetched from the corresponding field and will be given into this power symbol so this user inside the power symbol will be replaced with the value of the minus l okay so once we include minus l john this name john will be replaced with the character user inside the power symbol okay then after you can see minus p minus p is for where list so if we have an idea about uh, or like we have a collection of where list like a row q or row q1 row one password like that so we can provide the file name here so minus p the where list name okay so from the where list one by one each pass will be fetched out and they will be given to this location you can see minus p they will load the password and minus f means that uh, this is for incorrect password suppose if we load a password of john suppose our user is john uh, we provide minus l john minus p where list so each of the word will be taken from the word list and they will compare the username is john password is password1 password2 password3 like that so if it is wrong we have to understand that is incorrect so minus f is a message that is displaying the password is incorrect Now we are going for the second question. In the second question you can see it's to crack the password of Molly's account but this is through SSH login. So that is secure shell. To perform this operation just copy the commands from the try hack me. So you can see there is a small modification than the previous one. Again we are adding the username to the minus L. Then we are adding the bear list that is roku.txt. Now we are going to perform password attacks that is brute forcing the previous operation will take a long time but this will be quick so we can see finally the password is found 
the password is butterfly so friends i hope everyone understand this section on password attacks so don't try this password attacks on any website we can try it on try hack me or other similar websites so for more interesting videos you can subscribe my channel and see you again